Fran, to you first, perhaps you can update us on the increasing pressure Irish uh, forces are coming under uh, and in the wake, of course, of the comments by President Higgins. Yeah, that situation continuing tonight, Ray. Along the border, the blue line between Israel and Lebanon, there are 25 outposts. That's where the peacekeepers go out to observe what's happening along the border. Two of them are under Irish command, and one of them near Maroon Al Ras is at the centre of this. A couple of days ago, Israeli tanks pulled up outside took positions, they are dug in, and as Fergal was saying, they have been firing rounds uh, in the area at their enemy ever since. The difficulty is they are in extremely close proximity to those Irish troops. Militarily, it's difficult for the enemy to fire back, because if they do, they are firing at a UN facility, and that has consequences. Many would question whether Hezbollah would uh, give much uh, credence or adherence to that reality. But it has drawn the ire of the President, a statement issued by Michael D. Higgins from the Aris this afternoon, in which he talked about it being outrageous, accused the IDF of threatening uh, peacekeepers. And Mr. Higgins said that they basically had insulted UN peacekeepers who were responsible for maintaining peace in that area. And he said these are people who are putting their lives at risk to ensure peace. Now, a slightly more tempered statement being issued by the Minister for Defence and Taunish to Michal Martin, he said that it was the obligation of uh, Israel to observe UN peacekeepers, to respect them, to make sure they could go about their job and to do nothing which could, would put peacekeepers in harm's way. He said that he's been in contact with the UN and with the Defence Forces. The decision is the soldiers stay there for now. It's the safest place. And, and Mr Martin again reiterating his call many, many times that he's made before to Israel and to Hezbollah to step back from the precipice, as he put it, and agree a ceasefire. Yes, and in response to all of this, Israel has responded to a statement this evening. What has been said? The Israeli embassy in Dublin Ray issued a statement pretty much directly uh, addressing what the president had said. They, they said that to say it was a threat uh, was unfounded and inflammatory. Uh, how the, here's how the Israeli embassy in Dublin sees it. They say that they made a request of peacekeepers to move from their area of operation for their own safety uh, and as a precaution. Now, they have pointed out that northern Israel has been bombarded by rockets uh, for the past number of months and they're saying that as the obligation and the duty they have is to protect their country and protect their citizens. All the while, Ray, remember, inside, 30 Irish peacekeepers and at home, their family members extremely concerned about this situation. But the military advice is the safest place for them now is where they are. To make the journey back to Camp, Camp Shamrock it could be treacherous. OK, and Edmund, to you in Tiberias in Israel. Describe the situation there and how it's feeding into this conflict. Yes, Ray, I'm in Tiberias, which is in northern Israel. I've just come from a hotel on the Sea of Galilee. Up until a few years ago, most of the people staying there would have been people on pilgrimages. The hotel owner actually told me that he had many Irish guests staying there over the years. But the people staying there tonight have been there for nearly a year, all displaced from their homes in northern Israel ever since Hezbollah started firing rockets across into northern Israel on October 8th last year. Now, those people are not optimistic that they will be able to return to their homes anytime soon. Now, behind me here in Tiberias, there are tens of thousands of people in the exact same situation, all forced to evacuate from their homes in the northern most part of Israel. Now, I was up very close to the border today in a completely deserted city that is subjected to rocket fire pretty much every day. Now, this is the situation that has prompted Israel to take up its escalation against Hezbollah in recent weeks. Just three weeks ago, it announced a new war aim, the return of residents in the north to their homes. That is why it has stepped up its campaign against Hezbollah in order to make the north safe again. Now, where I am here is pretty safe tonight, Ray, but even in the past hour, we've heard the rumble of artillery being fired from here across the border into Lebanon.